welcome to Ladybugs and 4-H. My name is Cindy Harnett. I'm the 4-H Entomology Project Leader here in Ontario County. Entomology is the 4-H Bug Project. And today we're gonna to talk about my very favorite beetle, the ladybug. I'm gonna start you off with two short videos. The first one is the life cycle of an Asian ladybug. The second one shows the same ladybugs and they're hunting their prey, which are woolly aphids. And after that, we're gonna talk more about ladybugs. So let's get started.
So both of those videos were courtesy of Dr. Ann Winters. Ann grew up in Brandon, Mississippi, where she was a 4-H member in the Animal Sciences Projects. She remembers having a Jersey cow named Joy Ann and a goat named Clover. After she graduated from high school, she went to school in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and she got to do field work in the Caribbean, Northern Cyprus, and the United Kingdom. From Mississippi, she went to the United Kingdom for more advanced schooling. And while she was there, she got to go to Kenya and did special research project on ladybugs. From the United Kingdom, she went to Australia to work on her doctorate degree and got to do field work, including scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef. After she finished her doctorate, she went to Finland, where she is currently a researcher, and she is working on Arctic moths in both Finland and Estonia. Her next project is going to be working on sea cucumbers for the European Union. And we thank Dr. Winters for sharing those videos with us. Well, let's go back to talking about the 4-H Entomology Project. The entomology, of course, is the study of insects, and it is a 4-H project for everyone. Doesn't matter what your age is, doesn't matter where you live, or what kind of bugs you like. There's something for everyone inside this project. Some special ideas of fair exhibits are you could make a poster of an insect life cycle, similarly to what we saw for the ladybug. You could do a photo board of insects on flowers, plenty of flowers that we're gonna have throughout the summer here in upstate New York. You could make a notebook of dragonfly observations where you write about watching the different dragonflies over a pond and put in your own illustrations. Traditionally, 4-H members have used an insect collection in a box to display at fair. If anyone is interested in the project, please let the Ontario County 4-H office know so that we can work together and have a good time with the different bugs out there. But I wanted to emphasize that we're talking about ladybugs today. The insect world is divided into different large groupings. Those are called orders. All of the beetles, and beetles are one of my favorites, are in the Coleoptera order. Then ladybugs specifically have their own family. And as I was researching to put this together, I found out that there are about 500 ladybugs in the United States and more than 5,000 ladybugs worldwide, and they're all in one family. As you may know, the nine-spotted ladybug is the New York State insect. Unfortunately, they're not as common as they once were here in New York. So what did we see in those videos? What we saw is the insect life cycle. Different insects have different life cycles. The more advanced insects, such as beetles, butterflies, and mosquitoes, have what's called a complete metamorphosis. This means that they have distinctive life phases that all become the life cycle. The first phase, of course, is the egg. And with ladybugs, they are laid in clusters. They stand upright, as you saw. Um, they're in the egg about three to 10 days, depending on the particular species. From there, they hatch out is to little ladybugs, which are called larvae. And the larvae, to me, look like little alligators. They actually have little bristles on them. They eat the same thing as the adults, but they don't look anything like the adults. In the video, you saw different sizes of the larvae, and they seem to be getting bigger. There's actually four stages called instars, where they molt from one to the next to become, uh, to get bigger as they go. 
the final larva then becomes a pupa. A pupa is the resting stage for a beetle. It's a lot like a cocoon or a chrysalid for a moth or a butterfly. They're going to be in the resting stage for about two weeks. And as you can see from the wonderful video, as it gets ready, it then breaks out of the pupal case and is a full-fledged adult. But when it comes out, it's not going to have all the coloring and you're not going to see the spots of an adult that takes just a little while before they become the ladybug that we all know and love. The other thing with the adult phase, it's the only phase with a ladybug that has wings, and that's the one that's going to lay eggs. Most ladybugs are going to overwinter in some secure place, so an adult ladybug can actually live up to about a year. So what do they eat when they are adults or when they're larvae? They actually like to eat aphids and other pests on your garden. Um, so gardeners love ladybugs. But one of the cool things that we're doing here in New York, and this is a project that they're doing at Cornell, is called the Lost Ladybug Project. And what this is, it's for people like you and me to go out and take pictures of adult ladybugs and upload them to the Lost Ladybug website. The researchers are ho hoping to learn more about how nine spotted ladybugs are doing here in New York, as well as the other species that are here. They're very interested in the introduced species, such as the Asian ladybug, and our videos were actually with Asian ladybugs, and they wanna know what's going on across the country. In case you're thinking you're just a 4-H member and I can't help with that, they have a big deal on their website about two children who were the first to spot a nine-spotted ladybug in Pennsylvania where they hadn't been found in the Northeast United States for 14 years. So for more information and fun information on ladybugs, go to lostladybug.org. So we're going to conclude today with the fact that ladybugs are cool, wonderful beetles. They're one of, they're called the gardener's best friend because they eat aphids and other insects that attack plants. I hope you enjoy Dr. Winter's videos and that you will sign up to be a 4-H Entomology Project member. Thank you very much.